Well, hello, it's Mr. Dale again, and we are now into Module 7. And uh, the objective of this video is to introduce the vocabulary and the verbs and the grammar that we're going to need for Module 7. And the topic for Module 7 is the five senses. The grammar objective is adjectives. And because we are talking about the five senses, there are a lot of adjectives that we need to remember. Let's look at the example, the sun feels hot. There's one very simple example of many adjectives that we need to know for Module 7. Uh, so let's look at important vocabulary that we will need to know for Module 7. Uh, we will need to know all five senses, which are touch, feel, smell, taste, and hear. Those are the five senses. Uh, we also need to know the past tense of the verb to be, uh, was or were, and the past tense of the verb go, which is went. Uh, a huge part of Module 7 is learning the parts of the body. Fingers, hands, toes. And like I said before, another big part of Module 7 is our adjectives salty, hot, loud, soft, etc. So these are important words that need to be remembered and learned for Module 7. Examples of sentences that we will use in class uh, could be something like, it sounds really loud. They look sad. The roses smell nice. And uh, a question that we might be asking is, how do you feel when? And fill in the blank with whatever we're talking about. Or we might uh, talk about the, 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 the sense of taste. Does the lemonade taste sour? So it's really important that you learn these verbs, learn these adjectives, so that we can practice and use them in class effectively. And like I said, another huge part of Module 7 is learning the parts of the body. And so it's really important as well that you simply just sit down and try to memorize um, the parts of the body so we can use them in class discussion. Um, verbs that we need to know in the past tense. Uh, think becomes thought. Uh, that is irregular. Feel becomes felt. Taste is tasted. Smell becomes smelled. Hear becomes heard. Touch becomes touched. Okay, hear the t sound with uh, the ch. When we have a ch and we say it in the past tense, it sounds like a t, touched. Uh, C becomes sa, and listen becomes listened. All right, that is the grammar objective for Module 7, and also some of the vocabulary that we will be looking at in Module 7. Uh, we'll look at the grammar more specifically in the grammar section.